folks with loved ones buried in historic a historic cemetery outside Bible Battery complaining about the conditions of the roads in that property. The dirt roads are deteriorating with holes in some cases big enough to swallow a vehicle, they say. Our investigative reporter Brendan Kirby is joining us now with more on this. Brendan, folks say those roads are really falling apart. Yeah, they certainly are, Byron and Lenise, and I can personally attest to that. We were down there today, and it was quite the bumpy ride driving through there. A couple of times, I wondered if our news vehicle would get stuck. Watch out for your shots if you're visiting a loved one's grave at the Oddfellows Cemetery near Biola Battery. The roads are crumbling. These roads are horrible. I mean, I drive a car that sits low to the ground. I come through here to cut grass bottom out when it rains you see this right here wash out the sandiness you get stuck in alan ladnier says it's been like this for years but has gotten worse something else got to be done they need to get some county workers in here but mobile county commission chairman randall do says the roads are private property we can't obligate our equipment to that property commissioner do says he's willing to offer some financial assistance but can't afford the two and a half million dollar estimate he's been given quite frankly I don't have that kind of money to in my district to spend on public roads, much less private property in a cemetery. The property is owned by the Independent Order of Odd Fellows. John Bochelle, the secretary of the Alabama chapter of the Odd Fellows, couldn't immediately be reached for comment, nor could Jeff Meeks, a former Grand Master of the local Bayshore Lodge. And that leaves frustrated folks like Victor Johnson, who says he's been cutting grass around family plots for about 25 years. I mean, you can tell they're in bad shape. Anytime it rains real bad after a couple good floods, it washes out. That last little Powerball, heck yeah, or every time it gets big, that's one of my, that's, that'd be one thing I would do for sure this community. I'd come in here and pave these throws for everybody. There's been some turmoil in the local Oddfellows Lodge. Law enforcement authorities charged a former officer of the organization, Russell Collier Jr., with two counts of theft. He's accused of stealing $23,000 from the organization. He's also charged with accepting $1,400 for a granite ledger slab at a gravesite, but failing to deliver or return the money. Putting live in the News Center, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.